everyone, it's the Gamer Rat here, and in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, PPSSPP uh, performance in Linux Mint. We'll do a little change, usually I run Windows uh, 7 uh, for, for games and making videos, but uh, I'm using one of my little fanless uh, PCs, uh, a Core 2 Duo, well, we'll check it out right here. So I'm going to the system information. Uh, Core 2 Duo T9400, so a mobile chip uh, based on the Penryn architecture, so one of the later models, basically I think 2010, pretty much the last uh, Core 2 Duos came out. Uh, 6 uh, megs of cache, which is good, and uh, decent clock speed, 2.53 gigahertz, which uh, you know for a mobile or fanless chip is pretty decent. And it's uh, rocking uh, the last of the greatest of the GMA series. Uh, capable of HD uh, playback, the X4500. Uh, well, it's the Intel GM45 Express. Uh, in this case, I find it works just the same as the desktop version. I don't see any difference. And uh, once again, rocking a Linux Mint 20 uh, based on Ubuntu uh, long term support 20.04. So, if anyone of you is familiar with Linux, uh, Linux Mint, uh, you know how great it is. And uh, for anyone who's maybe uh, not familiar or has a, a machine uh, maybe struggles to run Windows 10 because, yeah, you know, if you want to have a daily driver uh, or or uh, do any online, uh, you know, things that require password or security, you want to run Windows 10 or, you know, an up to date Linux distro or, or or Mac, no matter what you're doing. So on my gaming machine, uh, yeah, so it's, since it runs Windows 7, I will never go anywhere that uh, besides YouTube or frivolous browsing uh, there will be no passwords on that machine so, so here we're going through the settings for PPSSPP uh, using the integrated graphics won't give us any post-processing options like FXAA or Bloom or any of that stuff here I had the alternative speed set to 50% uh, hoping it would drop down to 30 if it couldn't make 60 but uh, by default it's at unlimited so that's how we're gonna do this test and uh, basically the only change I did here was I'm actually able to run these games in uh, two times the native. Native resolution is 272p, uh, 480 by 272, and uh, two times is 960 by 544. Already much better. And actually the size of the uh, window that PPSSPP is running in now is exactly 960 uh, by 544. Here you see the sound speed hack at the bottom check that it does wonders otherwise you get clippy sound but when it's checked it's, uh, it's pretty good even you're gonna see even though I'm gonna be recording using a simple screen recorder a great Linux uh, uh, Linux app that uh, it's amazingly lightweight that's all I gotta say so yeah so we're just gonna record that window uh, the whole screen is at uh, 1280 by 720 and I'm just gonna record the actual 960 by 544 pixels of the window itself even though you're gonna see it in full screen and I'm gonna pick some sports games uh, uh, I got a couple of soccer's or football for those of you uh, not in Canada or the US uh, hockey um, what else I think I'm gonna throw in here uh, baseball uh, I think a little cycling and you're gonna see I'm gonna be changing the camera views you know sometimes I like to play like wide open or or pan back with the little guys if you're playing on your TV having little characters it seems like you're watching a real game I don't know you get into it seeing the big green pitch and I take off the names I don't really like that so um, hopefully it's not too boring um, here you see uh, we're recording at 1280 by 720 and it's 30 FPS in 30 FPS out and uh, so uh, yeah so we'll take a look at these games uh, and at the end I will give you a little clip of how I edit the, them because I actually am editing it on this very same computer I'm gonna use shortcut for that and I'll have that at the end of the video so if you find the, the actual game uh, demos a little bit long, you can skip uh, to the end for the last three, four minutes. Get the tip, and we're underway. Passes it cross court. Griffith backs him down. Skipped it to Billups. Tries to back down. To the right corner, to the outside. Misfire on the three by Paul. And 
and it's a two-point game. To the right corner, to Turkoglu, that's in. How oh, he gets it, hammered, and he'll head to the line. Shooting two. He can't get the first. He's off on the second. The Clippers with the ball. About four and a half minutes left in the first. Bounces it to Jordan. Takes the three. Bound to Paul. The Clippers with the ball. They're up by three. To the high post, to Jordan. Passes it to Griffin. Griffin backs him down. Shoots it. Griffin snatches the rebound. Paul oh, commits foul. the charge. And that they'll turn that's over his possession. First personal foul. First team foul. The Magic with the ball. About three and a half minutes left in the first quarter. To the outside. To Howard. Lines in. He does. That's too easy. Trickling. He's got to get to him about eight feet further out. Breaking ball is swung on and bounced to short. Throw on to first. And one shortstop grounds out to the other one away. Michael Young will be the batter. Now batting, Michael Young. Ellsbury is there, two gone. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. That's a foul ball. Just underway here at Fenway Park. Here's the 2-1 pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1. and one. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. But not quite enough as it's off the center field wall. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Man at second here with two away. And here comes Beltre. Foul. Down the line, but this will kick foul. That's a foul ball. Now the 0-2 to Beltre. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. And there you see Jacoby Ellsbury as he'll lead things off here in the home half of the first. Swing and a bullet to the right side. And a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches here to start the bottom of the first. Dustin Pedroia will get his first opportunity now. Now batting, Dustin Pedroia. He's ready now, the pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Carl Crawford is on deck. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole, and that's by him into right field for a base hit. Carl Crawford will stand in. First pitch to him. 
And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. and And you don't want hitters to fall into that comfort zone up there, so a good idea to run the fastball in that time. And a slider stays outside, and he falls behind 2-0. In there, two and one. And this is swung on and pretty well hit. Out to deep left center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And the runner will score from second. Kevin Euclid will step in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to pad this lead a bit early on. And they start him with one high and away for ball one. And he's trying to run that one back on the outside corner, but it didn't quite get there. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. Hit hard. A big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. Slice down the line at first. Foul. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So it's second and third with one gone now. And now the left-handed hitting Adrian Gonzalez will get a shot. Now a quick pass up to Fuller. Shoots the puck. Morrison. Out comes Dinas Zubris. And he passes it to Ovechkin. He intercepted it. Puck cleared out by Vishnovsky. Camilleri grabbed it. Possier. One time hit. Pretty nice glove save by Cluche. Camilleri. He's over the blue line and on the. He scores! An early first period goal. When he's coming down on the goalie, he can do so many things. All because of that wicked wrist. Los Angeles is showing their killer instinct. This team wants to dominate and dominate early. If they can set the tone in the opening, he scores! Craig Conroy! I'd love to see him in a skills competition. I think he has one of the hardest shots in the league. Nice goal. Washington is in deep trouble here. No question. Now, the other team has really taken them by surprise. Face-off won by Beach. Here's Craig Conroy. It's dumped in by Thornton. Here's Matt Pettinger. Time for a bit of the rough stuff, Craig. Well, they got tangled up and now are ready to go. in the fighting department. It's a dissenter. Now he's moved it into the attacking zone. He brings it over the line. He steals the puck to Cole. Quick shot. Manny Fernandez makes the save. Here's Eric Stahl. Oh, he's made another save. Johnson behind the net. They're out of their own zone to center. Delayed penalty coming up for Carolina. Shot blocked in front of the net. Off one by a coin. Minnesota takes possession. Shoots just wide of the net. Commodore. He clears it down the ice. Carney. Quick shot blocked. Here's Martin Skula. Shoots it quickly. Radovojevic to Martin Skula. One timer. 
Ward made the leg save. Coverlay. To Pavel Dimitra, who started his career in Ottawa, but has seen his game rise to new heights in St. Louis. Now over to Ralston. Oh, he hit the post. To Williams. Stillman. Less than two minutes to go in the first period. Stillman, one-time shot. Steered to the corner by Fernandez. Down into the corner. One-timer! Ward reached out for the puck. Nice stretching of the play, pushing forward. Surely! The try, but the direction was lacking. Well, I think that shows their intent. The first shot of the game, and in the first five minutes. Ball back to the goalkeeper. Good pass to the wing. The keeper pushes it away. The keeper decides the best option is to punch it, and out it goes for a corner. It's across the face of goal. No challenge on the keeper for the ball. He saw it coming. Chance in the box. Wide, and that's putting it mildly. What a move, and that final shot was close to perfection. And that won't be making it through. No options for him in the box. Clear. He is a judge to be offside. Incisive pass that. Arrives in the box. Fallen kindly. And the chance accepted with some aplomb. It's in. That one finds the net. He knew exactly where the goal was. Didn't even have to look up. And got enough behind the shot to beat the keeper. All credit to the attacker there, but you have to ask questions of that defence. What were they doing? Crowd starting to get impatient now.
He parries it. And he makes absolutely no mistake. It's a comfortable lead now, two goals. Just so, so good. He knew exactly when he wanted to put that straight into the right-hand corner. players waiting ball in the post in the way it's clear that challenge there free kick dangerous position the opponents just can't afford to concede any more goals Oh, it just looked like it might dip in at the last. Not a great free kick and from such a good position too. And he crosses in. And he's been given offside. Two more minutes is being shown on the board. It's well cut out, but he has to be careful here. The goalkeeper could have been left with a red face, but the defender has cleared the danger. Feels for a goal kick, but it's definitely a corner. Gone for a short one. He's played it in. They scored! You give this guy anything in the air and he'll put it in the back of the net. And he just smacked his head past the keeper. Iniesta. That's a wonderful sliding tackle, clean as a whistle. Not well. Tevez. Done well to seize upon the ball there. He hit the ball here. Ref says play on, advantage. Can he beat the keeper? Defender tied the challenge well. The shots didn't have a lot of luck there, didn't miss by much, you know. Messi, that's resolute defending. Thought he'd ever go from where? I'm afraid that shot was taken from just too far out to worry the goalkeeper. If a striker loses belief, he's worth nothing. It's a fine header. <laughs> he hurled himself into that tackle, but won it cleanly. Look at this, they've not picked him up. Shoots, it's there, it's the bottom corner before he knew it. What a finish, what a great finish that is. Look, up right in the corner. You cannot point the finger at the goalie there, he's got no chance with that. He is so elusive when he gets on the ball like that. They didn't get to him. Quickly, the extra man is there to support the attack. Good interception. And welcome back, and you're still here. Uh, so here I have shot cut open, 
and uh, you're seeing me edit uh, in real time. Uh, nothing sped up. Uh, the system's quite snappy, considering its modest specs and its, uh, you know, uh, you know, it, it's not powerful. That's for sure. But uh, shortcut actually, I found works pretty good. So here you see me going down to the preview scaling, and it's very important. Turn that down to 360, which is as low as you, it goes. And actually, the actual preview window itself, I tend to make that as small as possible. And uh, if you look down in the timeline at the bottom, you see I'm going to where one scene goes into the other because as it goes through the transition, uh, um, I just want to uh, make, well, I haven't put in the fades yet, but uh, the transitions se seem to be pretty smooth. So actually, um, open shot, I couldn't get to work on this machine, even though Linux is, um, you know, you know, quite a bit more efficient at using the modest resources than than uh, Windows 10 would have been, uh, Windows 7 even better, but uh, Linux Mint 20 is a, is really good, but uh, open shot, I just couldn't get it to work, and you know, time time is valuable, so I tried Shotcut, which uh, I've been uh, uh, using on my uh, Windows 7 machine. Uh, it tends to be, uh, you know, a lot less buggy than it had the reputation of being, so I really like it, and it's working fine on this one, so. I'm actually able to go through the timeline uh, without, um, you know, without without a, a dedicated GPU, uh, reasonably easily, without it hanging up or going to you know quote unquote the not responding mode, and you get like the hourglass or in Linux case would be the little spinning wheel, uh, and you definitely in Windows wouldn't be able to do this on uh, you know four gigs of DDR2 and uh, you know. Uh, two two cores from from 2010 so open up the sound editor while you have the video editor running and you know not really waiting for anything to happen so i strongly suggest uh, you know a game uh, a machine uh, this machine just happens to run PPSSPP as like a fortunate accident because i'm kind of like a sony guy so that's what i had but as far as any uh, running games or emulators per se this is definitely not the best machine, but uh, it is really functional. So it runs up to date Windows 10 if you needed it to. But if you wanted to, you know, be a little bit more easier on the resources, uh, you know, and uh, you know, you don't need Windows 10 like to for a specific program or to run games, uh, then uh, you would be able to, uh, you know, try try this out. So I uh, hope that the video has been a little bit fun, and I will see you. Um, you know, in the next video. Thanks for watching.